We begin tonight in Jonesboro. We first told you about Jonesboro Public Schools' plans to establish a diversity task force a few months ago. Now that task force is in place. Northeast Arkansas News' Sarah Doan tells us what they're hoping to accomplish. JPS Superintendent Dr. Kim Wilbanks announced the creation of a diversity task force last year to address areas of improvement within the district. Now all task force members from a variety of backgrounds have been selected and are ready to get to work. In a significant amount of time really um, discussing the purpose of the committee or the purpose of the work, um, my charge to all of them was spend your time what activities and actions do you want to take. And so that has been their goal to uh, come up with two to three immediate actions that they feel will have a significant impact. The 50 person task force includes teachers, administrators, school board members, community members, school staff and parents. They are separated into four subcommittees and will focus on curriculum and instruction, parent and student voices, recruitment and retention and staff and community awareness. One task force member says he's ready to see plans turn into action. We thought this was the prime time to try to help orientate the whole entire Jonesboro school system about diversity. Diversity is not just a black thing, but also a people thing. So that our actual classroom would actually look like the community rather than look like one type of community. All members first met in December and each subcommittee is actively meeting and will continue to meet throughout the year. Dr. Wilbanks says she wants people to see changes in multiple aspects of the district, including the classroom. Materials that, that our children today see themselves in those materials, but does it also help them see where they could be in the world? Does it help them dream and, and have aspirations um, in, their, in their lives? Now, Dr. Wilbanks says that some actions will be immediate, such as the Recruitment and Retention Task Force is already planning virtual events for minority employees. But she says other actions won't be put into place until this next school year in the fall. For Northeast Arkansas News, I am Sarah Doan in Jonesboro.